take me out. So there's a hunter and a monkey. The monkey is hanging in the tree. The hunter really wants to get the monkey for, for his zoo. He has a tranquilizer gun that won't harm the monkey. Um, so, um, where should the hunter aim in order to get that monkey? This is what the hunter knows. As soon as he pulls the trigger, the monkey will hear it and the monkey will drop from the tree. Okay, so the, the hunter, being the expert huntsman that he is, where should he aim to get the monkey? Above the monkey, at the monkey, or below the monkey? If the monkey is obviously going to drop, then we need to aim below the monkey. But depending on the monkey, he may fake out the hunter and jump up, and then he's go up. It's a 50-50 shot. I'd go below. Below. Alright, the hunter should aim above the monkey because the dart going, uh, traveling up towards the monkey will gradually drop as it's traveling through, uh, through the air. I think the hunter, I don't, I hate this, point. can you take I'll edit that out, oh my I'll God. edit that out. Okay, I think you should aim below the monkey because if the monkey falls, it'll fall into wherever he shoots. All right, students, now it's your turn to try to figure this problem out. Um, we have a hunter who sees a monkey that he uh, wants for the zoo. So he pulls out his tranquilizer gun, and he's getting ready to fire at um, the monkey. The monkey sees the hunter, and um, the monkey knows as soon as the hunter pulls the trigger, he's going to drop. The hunter also knows this fact because, you know, he's... Um, try to catch a uh, few monkeys in his day. So where should the hunter aim his tranquilizer gun? Now, some of you might say you should aim above the monkey so that the dart will arch and hit the monkey. Now some of you might think, well, you should aim below the monkey so that when the monkey falls, the dart will eventually hit the monkey. Now all of these are great ideas but, in order to solve this problem, you actually have to imagine a world without any gravity. Okay? There is zero gravity. Now, if you aim at the monkey, if there's no gravity, will the dart hit? If you aim below the monkey, if there is no gravity, will the dart hit? If you aim above the monkey, if there's no gravity, will the dart hit? Now keep that in mind as I explain the solution. In a world with gravity, if you aim at the monkey, as soon as you fire, the monkey's gonna drop. What's pulling it down? Yes, gravity. And as soon as you pull the trigger, what's pulling the tranquilizer dart down? Gravity. Now, gravity is going to affect both of those objects at the same time. Now because they're being affected at the same time, they're going to fall at the same rate. Okay, They're both going to fall, um, for example, at one second, both the dart and the monkey will fall 50 centimeters, 2 seconds, 150 centimeters, 3 seconds, 345 centimeters, so on and so forth. And so the hunter needs to aim at the monkey in order to hit the monkey because of gravity. In rethinking my thought process here about the monkey and the gun, you really need to aim at the monkey because you got to take into account the pull of gravity. And when gravity pulls on the bullet and the monkey, they're falling at the same rate, boom, you got the monkey and he goes to sleep. You should aim at the monkey because gravity is going to pull the monkey and the object or the, sh the object that you're shooting down at the same time. So you should shoot at the monkey because they're both falling at the same time. All right, the hunter should shoot. The hunter should shoot at the monkey. Get away. Can we start over? Yes. Because, because oh, you don't recording. understand. I'm yes, sorry. of course. That's what the use of the camera is for. Oh, Take off your hat. All right, we go. All right. The hunter should shoot at the monkey because gravity is working on both the projectile and the monkey that's dropping. 